Hey there, boys and girls. I've got Lucy the Ladybug here to help us with some insect words. I love to help, and I'm an insect, so it's perfect. Indeed it is. Did you know there's almost a million different kinds of insects in the world? I know, it's amazing, astounding, mind-boggling. Yes, our God is a great God to make that many different kinds of insects. Mm-hmm. Um, well, speaking of insects, we are going to work on our insect words uh, handwriting page. I can help. I'll get it for you, Mrs. Neve. Oh, thank you. She's just such a wonderful helper. Not only eating those aphids, but getting the handwriting page, too. Yes, Mrs. Neve, I love to help. Did you know that that's one of those exceeding great and precious promises in God's word, that if we keep helping, we will reap a harvest of blessings. God will reward us with blessings. It's true. I love it, Mrs. Neve. I'll keep doing good. Good for you, Lucy. We appreciate that. God appreciates that. Now, not only do you need your insect handwriting page, but you'll also need a pencil. Uh, I would get it for you, boys and girls, but I'm not at your house, so you'll need to get it yourself. Yes, absolutely, and an eraser, just in case. Anything I can help you with, Mrs. Neve? You know what? We will need a marker because we're going to write some, of, write these words up on the whiteboard. I'll get it. <laughs> Mrs. Neve? Yes. Did you know that five plus four equals nine? Those crazy bean boys are at it again. Yes, Lucy, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Okay, well, here's that marker, Mrs. Neve. Thank you so much, Lucy, and I'm just going to set you down right here, and you can watch. Yes, Mrs. Neve, call me if you need some help. Isn't she great? Okay, boys and girls, on your handwriting page, there are different words that have to do with insects. Here's the first word on your list. You've got I... N, yes, you can see, S, E, C, T. Do they have an S at the end? They do not. And the word is, let's read it, short I, insect. Well, of course, you had to have insect on the list of insect words. So if you have room to write insect two times, try and squeeze it in two times. If not, write it once. I know it's a longer word. Okay, let's go to your second insect word. B, U, G. Now, to help you read that, let's go ahead and mark our vowel. There's just one, so it's short, a. Uh. Go ahead and sound it out. Mm-hmm. Bug. Bug, another word for insect, so we had to have that on the page. Go ahead and write bug. I know you can fi fit it on there two times. Uh, our next word is E G G. Only one vowel, right? So it's short. Let's go ahead and read it, starting with that short E A -eh. egg. Yes. Egg is the first stage in the insect life cycle. Right? There's four stages. The first one's the egg stage. So there you go. I know you could fit A on there two times. Your next word starts with an L. L. A. R. V. A. Now, for marking vowels, I'm looking, you might think uh, two vowels, right, Mrs. Neve? We're not looking at it that way because after this A is an R, and remember when you have AR, it's making the R sound, like in car. So I'm going to circle that AR. It's making the special sound R. And this A at the end, it's not being long or short, A ah or A. It's sounding like a U, uh. It's making a special sound, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark that. Sound it out with uh at the end. Let's read it. Ready? Larva. Larva. Yes, you know. Stage two in the insect life cycle. Write larva one or two times, however many times you can fit on your paper. Alrighty. Next one, and I'm going to come up here and start a new column. And it starts with a P U P A. Alrighty. Now, in this one, our U is being long. It's, it's 
You might think two vowels, U and A, of course it's going to be long. It's making a special sound. You'll see what I mean, because we're going to go ahead and circle that U. It is being long, but the, uh, the A at the end is not being silent. It's not being a silent second vowel. It's making the sound uh, just like we heard at the end of larva. So go ahead and circle that A. And let's go ahead and sound it out. Here we go. Pupa. Pupa. Stage three in the insect life cycle. <sighs> Write pupa one or two times. Okay, next word on your list. A, D, U, L, T. We're going to circle the A. I know you're thinking two vowels, but it's making a special sound again. It's a. Uh, just like at the end of pupa, it's going to make the uh sound. So circle that. And when you get to your, uh, the other vowel there, which is a second one, but it's not the two vowel rule, um, U is being short. It's, yeah. So just go ahead and put a short symbol over that. This has to do also with how many syllables are in a word. We're not going to worry about that right now. You'll get to that in first grade. All right. But we're going to sound this out with a. Uh, and then uh again, ready? Adult. Adult, stage four in the insect life cycle. So you've got all four stages in your handwriting page today. You've got egg, larva, pupa, adult. Now you do have a couple more words on your paper. Here's the next one. T H R E E. Now, you might recognize this. You have seen this word before. But let's go ahead and circle some special sounds. Now, we could circle just the TH. It is making a th sound. But look, there's an R right after the TH. So this is an, actually another special sound, th. You can hear the R at the end. So we're actually going to circle the T and the H and the R, th. And then you do have your double E, which is going to give you your long E sound, so you can mark the vowels. And the word is three, the number word three. Maybe you already knew that. Now, you're probably wondering, why do we have three on the insect words uh, page? Uh, I've got a guess, Mrs. Neve. What are you thinking, Lucy? Because uh, there were three ladybugs. That's not it. Uh, the lady had a bug had three spots. That's not it. What is it? Well, you're going to get a sneak preview, boys and girls. Next week, as we continue to learn about insects, we will find out that insects have three body parts. All those, you know, almost a million kinds of different insects, they all have three body parts. And we will talk about that next week. And that's why you have the number word three up on, or on your paper. Uh, write three one or two times, and now you're down to the last word on your page. And let's spell it. It is S-I-X. How many vowels are in this one? Just the one, so please mark it. It's short, I, and you may remember this word too. Let's go ahead and read it. Six. Six. Oh, why six on the insect page, Mrs. Neve? This is another spoiler alert, something we're going to be talking more about next week. All insects have six legs. Six? Do I have six legs? Uh, you do. Let's go ahead and count. We've got, oh, I've got a black shirt on. It's going to be hard to see. But one two, three, four, five, six. They made this puppet correctly because ladybugs do have six legs. They would have three on one side and three on the other. Three plus three equals six. Mm-hmm. It's a double. Oh, boy. Now do I write six one time or two times, Mrs. Neve? Write it two times. It's a short word. You can fit it on two times. So that is your insect words handwriting page. Uh, make it look pretty. Do your best work. 
Uh, remember, we don't want Mr. Pencil moving too fast or too slow, but just right. And remember also, uh, please, no stray pencil marks on your page. Use a pencil, but don't, you know, make little lines and things over there. Um, it just doesn't look good. But what you can do is if you want to draw some insect pictures at the bottom of the page, it will get you an extra stamp. Absolutely. Mrs. Neve! Oh, wait, just, I, Mrs. Neve? The spelling bee. I'm an insect, so I had to come over. Oh, yes, all of those. Yes, the bees do go through the four-stage life cycle. Indeed, they do. Mrs. Neve, I was also wondering, what about the spelling words? Yes, that's right. It's Wednesday, so some of you are probably getting ready to take your spelling test, either today or tomorrow. Hopefully, you've been practicing those words. Why don't we practice them now, Mrs. Neve? Good idea, spelling bee. So what I'm going to do is I'll put my page down there. I actually don't need the marker anymore. And let's go ahead and we're going to tilt the camera over this way. We've got our spelling word list here. Let's see if I can get us even a little closer. There we go. The words aren't there yet because the spelling bee has gathered them together for you. I like to help too, Mrs. Neve. Thank you, spelling bee. Okay, what's our first word, spelling bee? Have. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. Have. H-A-V-E. Have. I'll fly it over to the list. Oh, he's a good helper, too. Oh, yeah. Bees are good helpers and hard workers. We make honey for you, you know. Right. Okay, so word number one, have. We're ready for word number two, B. Okay, got them right down here. Word number two, come. C-O-M-E, come. I know it's not obeying the phonics rules. You just have to remember there's an O in there, not a U. Come. Silent E at the end too, Mrs. Neve. Right, thank you. I'll fly it over. Thanks, spelling bee. Okay. Got word number three ready. Excellent. Love. I love you. Love you too, B. Love. L-O-V-E. Love. I would love to fly it over for you, Mrs. Neve. Thank you. <laughs> There it is, word number three, love. Got the next one. Ooh, another number word here. We had uh, three and six on our handwriting page. Here's one. Here we go. One, O-N-E, one. And again, you just have to remember, I know it sounds like ooh, a W at the beginning. It's not. That would start the homonym one, like we won the game. You just have to remember O N E. But we've seen this word a lot in our numbers book and at other times, so it should be, you know, your brain has seen it before. It should be easier to remember. I'll fly it over. Okay, one is on the wall. One more word, Mrs. Neve. Ah, yes, here we go. From F R O M from I know it's another one that sounds like it sh that O should be a U it's not you just have to remember it's an O you can sound out the rest of it fr O M M at the end I will fly it over once again Mrs. Neve okay now now that we have them on the wall, let's see if I can get our camera a little bit closer. You'll want to remember some of those patterns that we talked about to help you when you take your spelling test. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is work, work. No, I'm not going to try. I was thinking of bringing the camera over. I don't think I better try that. Um, remember, all of the words except for from have a silent E at the end. Who knows why? have has silent e at the end come love and one remember that when you're writing them down you need that silent e 
from does not have an E at the end. Now the other pattern you can remember, all of them except for have, have O as their first vowel. It doesn't sound like an O, it sounds like a U, but remember, come has an O in it, love has an O in it, one starts with O, and from has an O in it. They all have O, except for have, and that's easy to remember because it does sound like a, a, a short A, doesn't it? Ha, have. I know it's not obeying the phonics rules because there's a super silent E at the end. It's not have, it's have, but you still, you could, that helps you out because you know it's the A. All the rest are O. So, boys and girls, as you take your spelling test this week, those tips should help you out. And Spelling Bee, thank you for helping us. And Lucy, we want to be sure to say thank you, too. We were just talking about that er earlier. Sh showing kindness to people involves saying please and thank you. So thanks, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. We'll see you next time, boys and girls. And remember, be kind. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye-bye.